Hey guys, this is Justin. Hello and welcome to another video. So initially today I wanted to talk about Coruscant Cityscape and the massive machines which rebuild the planet on a seemingly regular basis. But to be honest, I need to do more reading. That script needs a bit more work. So instead, I want to talk about the current state of Star Wars films. And it's somewhat interesting because in my head, there's sort of a hierarchy for how much of a show things are. Marvel is kind of at the bottom, you know? They get their projects done. I don't like a lot of them, but there's usually not too much controversy. Then, you know, somewhere on a completely different plane is Star Wars, which announces a million projects and does about five of them. However, recently, I think a new king has stepped in for bad management, and that has got to be DC. So we'll talk about that on today's video. Before we continue, though, my upload today is sponsored by my good friends at Vite Ramen. For those who don't know, Vite Ramen is a small American business which produces incredible ramen. Yeah, it's a bit more expensive than your 30 cent grocery store ramen, but it's also basically a full meal and it's healthy with a lot less salt and a ton of bioavailable nutrients. I mean, the food is great. I can only say so much. Just look at the comments anytime I post a Vite Ramen sponsored video. I never censor them. Sometimes people don't like it, but the vast majority do. And that goes especially for my flavor, Masaman curry. It's incredible. Still sold out. In the meantime, there is a Japanese curry, and I would personally recommend you grab one of the variety packs. Anyway, Vite Ramen's also a great company. You can feel good buying from them. They treat their employees really well, paying them a living wage. They treat me really well. They don't even make me send them these videos. I can say whatever I want. And because I take these sponsorships, you don't see me getting caught up in Scottish land title scams or whatever that was. Man, did they try though. Anyway, right now you can try Vite Ramen for 10% off by using code Eckhart's and following the link down in the description. All right, so back to the topic. And as I said, start Star Wars is, you know, looking pretty good compared to what's going on with the DCEU right now. I gotta be honest, DC to me, incredibly boring. Batman's kind of cool. The actual direct, like, Superman movie, alright as well. But, like, there's very little that seems more unappealing to me than something like The Suicide Squad or Harley Quinn or whatever else. That being said, I recognize there's a huge fan base for these movies, and I'm not belittling these people either. Just different feelings. But what is obvious is that the DC film universe has not been handled well whatsoever. I promise I'll get back to Star Wars in a second, but some of that's not their fault. You know, the Ezra Miller Flash situation, kind of a yikes. But I mean, some of it also seemed to be, looking from the outside, how they've handled Suicide Squad and its follow-up, The Suicide Squad not great. And I mean, they have all these really beloved characters. Batman is one of the most iconic comic book characters of all time, and they just can't execute, putting together a string of good movies. And now that James Gunn is at the helm, it seems like they're completely blowing up the foundations for a lot of the future and rebuilding it. Now, this could be tough. It might work out in the end, but the way things stand right now is a complete mess. I mean, Henry Cavill, he was included at the end of Black Adam. People went crazy over it. He apparently left The Witcher to focus on Super Superman, and today he announced that he's not really going to be involved moving forward. Now, James Gunn sort of softened this a bit, but I'll take Henry Cavill's word over James Gunn's. And more relevant to Star Wars is Patty Jenkins. Patty Jenkins, of course, was the director and I believe writer for the two Wonder Woman movies, and she was slated to do Wonder Woman 3, and now that also seems like it's not happening. However, the interesting part about that story for me is how Patty Jenkins sort of casually revealed that Star Wars ultimately got thrown to the side so she could focus on Wonder Woman. As I mentioned, she was meant to do Rogue Squadron, and in her own summary, she explains that she left Rogue Squadron after a long and productive development process to focus on Wonder Woman 3. Lucasfilm, why are you hiring people who don't want to focus on Star Wars? There are so many competent filmmakers, directors, and writers who would love to work on Star Wars. Why do you keep picking people who make Star Wars a second priority? Okay, she admits it was a long development process on Rogue Squadron, but she also says it was productive. On a note, she does say too that afterwards Lucasfilm renegotiated with her and said she could return to Rogue Squadron once she was done Wonder Woman and that the movie was actually still under development, which was great news. But I find it exceedingly frustrating. And if they kept these things secret and to themselves, it wouldn't be as big of a deal. But Lucasfilm and Star Wars can't help but making all of these big announcements about movies and TV shows and whatever else, and like half of them end up happening. The other great example is Ryan Johnson. Lucasfilm outright and 
announced, yeah, we're getting a trilogy of Ryan Johnson movies. Ryan Johnson himself has made it clear, and I don't really blame him, that he wants to focus and will be focusing for the next probably five to ten years on other projects. I'm going to be geriatric by the time this movie comes out, if it does. And let's be honest, it probably won't. This one's less egregious, but we also got an article from Collider today talking about Sean Levy. Maybe it's Levi, I don't even know. Anyway, that was sort of another situation where he was tasked to do a Star Wars movie. He's even confirmed it, but he's got about a million other things to take care of first. And I mean, alongside that, we apparently have Taika Waititi's movie. Again, that did get an official announcement. Kevin Feige's movie, official announcement there. There's Damon Lindelof's movie. I don't even know if that one's got an official announcement. There's just so much, and it seems like the way they're being produced is like, whenever they get 30 seconds of spare time, they write down a couple of notes and sort of leave it at that. It doesn't feel like there's any real progress or that these movies exist in a tangible sense, and that's just really unfortunate. I guess I brought the DC stuff up at the beginning to sort of contrast Star Wars with DC. Yeah, things are annoying with Star Wars right now. It does suck that we might not be getting a movie for five or ten years even, and really the Star Wars cinematic experience is like no other. However, compared to what's going on at DC, we should consider ourselves lucky. The DC fandom right now is also tearing itself apart over allegations that James Gunn does or doesn't like certain aspects of the pre-existing film universe. He doesn't like the Snyder stuff. He does like the Snyder stuff. Who knows, really? I just hope in terms of not only movies, but also video games, hell, even TV shows, that Disney learns their lesson with the fan trust that they've lost on Star Wars. But guys, that's all I really have for today. Sorry for this kind of different video. I just want to get my thoughts out there, and I'm really curious to hear what you think. Thanks again to Vite Ramen for sponsoring this one. I'm going to put my next video out unsponsored, I think. I've been trying to put more unsponsored content out when I do work these rambling videos in, but I also try to make my integrations as fun and unobtrusive as possible. Anyway, until next time, be safe, have a good one, and may the Force be with you.